Hello YouTube, welcome back to my video. In this video, I am going to show you how to take backup of a PostgreSQL database in Windows PC using command prompt. So I have my uh, PGSQL or PostgreSQL installed in my uh, Windows 10 PC. So let me open my uh, PG admin and show you my database which I am going to take backup. So uh, I have my uh, PG database here. So I have a database named HR data where I have a table, uh, a table named country and uh, there is some data in there. Okay. So this is uh, the list of countries. So, so we are going to uh, uh, back, take backup of this entire database using command prompt. Now, so first you have to open your command prompt in administrator mode. For that, just go to your start menu and open CMD and just right click uh, on uh, the command prompt and there is an option to take uh, it as uh, uh, administrator mode, okay? So just click on that and it will ask for your user icon control, just click yes and uh, your command prompt will pop up. Now we are going to uh, make use of uh, uh, the command pg dump. Uh, so this is the command which we are going to use to take uh, the backup. So the uh, documentation for that is uh, available in the official PostgreSQL side. Let me uh, take the documentation. So here, uh, this is the pg dump command. You can see uh, there is all the documentation of uh, the way how you can use it is uh, shown here. So basic synopsis is pg dump and then the connection option and then the options and then the db name. Okay. So we'll be following this uh, same synopsis for our example also. Now first, let me open my notepad. So here we will write our commands. So from uh, the first we have to uh, uh, enter the pg dump command so it's like pg dump and then you can see the connection option so uh, the connection options which we have to give is uh, the host and the username uh, for your database so it's here actually so this is how you have to specify host either you have to uh, give a uh, hyphen h or you can write explicitly like this so i'm going to connect uh, uh write it as a uh, hyphen h so it is like this hyphen h and then you have to give the server name or host name so in our case you it's a local host or in my pc it's local host and uh, if it's in a remote pc or remote server you have to specify the ip address of that here now you have to uh, give the username uh, in the command so here you can see the username you can uh, specify like this uh, or uh, with a capital u so we'll be using the capital u and uh, my uh, username is postgres okay now then there is a lot of options here i'm not going to take out all and uh, uh, explain everything so I'll be uh, just saying how you can uh, uh, take the backup the simple way and uh, the default way now if you want to specify your port number uh, you can specify it here but uh, uh, if it's default the so 54321 uh, 5432 uh, you don't want to specify it explicitly it will take the default one uh, automatically now you have uh, specified uh, the host and the username and then uh, keep in mind you cannot uh, now put the password in the command here okay it's uh, in different way so in my next videos how you how uh, i'll show you how you can uh, do it in uh, uh, through the command now uh, here we are uh, just uh, trying to export it, it as a dump file so if it's a dump file you don't want to uh, uh, specify uh, the format for the file so you can directly uh, specify the location where you want the exported file so i am just trying to export this into my e drive so i'll be uh, giving the location as uh, e drive and give the name of the file which i need so it is like this e and then just uh, two double quotes and uh, i'm giving that as hr backup yes that's it now we have to specify the database name also here so you can see here first uh, what we have in as in the synopsis first we have uh, specified the pg dump and then this is the connection information and then this is the uh, options which we have uh, 
given uh, where we want uh, the exported file and yes we forgot one thing we had to specify as the, this as the file name so it should be like this I think this is iPhone F yes you have to you have to specify the uh, as, as hyphen f to make the command as this is the output file which we need okay so uh, now uh, so after this just specify your database tape so our database name is hr data so uh, you can directly copy the name from here hr data and just specify in a uh, double quotes here yes that's all now this will export your uh, hr database uh, hr data a database into a location specified here let's see if it's working or not you have to give a colon here okay now you can copy this command from here directly come to your command prompt and just paste it here and just press enter you can see it's asking the database password now I'm going to specify that uh, give the database password it's root actually so just press enter you can see it's executed successfully and there is no error let's go and uh, go back to our e drive you can see that the uh, exported uh, file has been come so this output format is of an sql script file okay so if we are not specifying the format anything specifically uh, it will be a plain okay so this will be by default so the other different format is custom format directory format and tar format so if you want to set uh, any uh, specific format yourself or uh, can use this command or the, this uh, keyword in the command like this format equal to c so hope you got this how you can export uh, uh, the database uh, into a dumb file or sql uh, plain text sql script file that, that that's the output format which we have done here okay so in my next video i will show you how you can uh, import this database into your postgres and uh, further i'll be showing how you can create an auto backup facility uh, using uh, this command uh, in your windows so hope you got this how you can uh, export a, a database in uh, your postgresql so if you have any doubt in this please comment below i will try to help you and please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching